What's up, guys? It's David coming at you from Organic Price Books with a new release by Marvel Publishings. And I'm here. Oh, listen. Sometimes we get some really cool covers. We got a lot of DMs, especially in Marvel. They have a lot of DMs. Wolverine always has like three. Then you got like Micronauts that gets like four. I don't know why. Spider Man, usually they'll get two covers. Uh, if it's Ultimate Spider Man, they did three covers for those. So that was pretty cool. Death of Ultimate, I think, had. Three? Four-ish? Uh, Three-ish. Now, we're looking at Nick Spencer's Spider-Man Book 2, or Volume 2, and this has to be one of the coolest covers I've ever seen. So let me show you first the standard one. Here you go. Front. Spine. And the back. Very, very cool. Then we have the Arthur Adams DM one, which is this one. Very nice. Both of the, you know, those are really cool. I like that one. This one's nice. Both really, really nice covers. I like them. Awesome. But this Gleason cover, oh my gosh, look at that. If you, if you, listen, no contest, no nothing, no, you can't tell me anything different. This is hands down the best cover of them. And it just pops out to me so much. I love it. I like the whole web aspect of it. It just looks so clean with the black background done like we've had a lot of really good covers recently well yeah yeah yeah, yeah some yeah, yeah some of the wolverines were cool you know but the, this one shh, takes the cake i think it's in contest for probably like the coolest cover of 2024 for marvel i'm just saying i'm just saying here's the front spine and the back very cool so let me show you both of all three of them together so now you can see what they look like there you go very nice. So standard Gleason cover, Arthur Adams cover. So I don't know if you if you've been on the fence and you're seeing it now. This one, ooh, mwah. David is is in love with this cover. Oh, I love it. I love uh, shirts like this. I actually have a shirt that's kind of like that. I'm wearing my Spider-Man shirt right now. Ah, but I have a shirt that's this, just in uh, in white. It's a white shirt with the black background. So really cool. I like that a lot. Let me show you all three spines together. So again, standard here, Gleason right here, and then right here is the Arthur Adams. So it might not have the best spine, but it definitely has the best cover. Very cool. Okay, so let me show you the uh, underneath the dust jacket. Right. Okay, so you got all of the bad guys here coming at you. Look at that. And... Very, very cool. I like that. This is definitely... Who is this? This is... Uh, bah, 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 bah. Who is this? Mark Bagley. This is Mark Bagley. Definitely. You can tell by his... The way he does faces. So, really cool. I like that. All right. And at 1,334 pages, this is a pretty good size Omni. Let's go ahead and jump into a Spider-Man by um, Nick Spencer. Volume 2. Boom. Guys, let's jump into Spider-Man by Nick Spencer, Volume 2, and let's take a look here. There you go, all the contributors to the book. Thank you guys so much for all the hard work you put into it. We appreciate you and uh, the dedication you have to the craft, to the characters. Uh, pages feel semi or standard for omnibus, semi-gloss, looks good, feels good, um, and... They're not numbered throughout, so you get the full picture or the full drawings in frame there. And yeah, it looks really good. The colors look great. Uh, let me tell you a little bit more about this Spider-Man story. Ooh. Uh, okay, the bandaged figure has been haunting Peter Parker's dream, disrupting his sleep. And with Mary Jane Watson far away in Hollywood, Peter's life is about to become a walking nightmare. Because Kindred has raised one of Spider-Man's personal demons from the dead. 
more powerful than ever. Once upon a time, the Sin Eater killed someone Peter cared deeply about, causing the hero to almost cross the line. Now the serial killer is back, and he's targeting other villains, harvesting their sins. Ooh. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Can Spider-Man stop the murderous vigilante from taking deadly aim against such criminals as Overdrive and the Lethal Legion? Should he even try? And what happens when the Sin Eater sets his sight on one of the most wicked villains of all, Norman Osborn, the Green Goblin? Spidey's life is complicated further by old rivals, including Mr. Negative, the Kingpin, the Chameleon, and his current roommate, Boomerang. That's pretty funny, you know? Bad guys having to uh, share a room because they can't afford to live in New York. <laughs> but Peter won't have to face Kindred by himself. Madam Web, Spider Woman, Ghost, uh, Ghost Spider, Miles Morales, and Spider Girl have his back uh, as the Order of the Web. It still won't be enough to spare Spidey from the beating of his life. And that's even before Dr. Octopus, Dr. Octopus goes to war with the Vulture, pitting the, pitting the Sinister Six against the Savage Six. The only man that Otto Octavius and Adrian Toomes hate more than each other is Spider-Man. Can even he survive a dozen of his fiercest foes all out for his blood? Amid the carnage, as Nick Spencer concludes his epic run and Kindred's shocking secrets are revealed, will Peter be forced to consider the unthinkable? Ooh, very interesting. Um, dang. Sinister, yeah, Sinister Six and the Savage Six, that's pretty crazy. Uh, you know, 12 bad guys that Peter has to fight. But let me know if you read this, uh, this run of Nick Spencer's Spider-Man and how you liked it, how you compared it to the other runs um, with Spider-Man. I know there's some that people, I, I've, I've heard, you know, I've read on Reddit, of course, that people just don't like how they, some people write Spider-Man that they basically just, uh, beat him up, like just push him down, and 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 you know, ugh, he can't even have one good day. God. But let me know what you think. If you liked his run, compare. How do you compare it? Ooh, this is a good picture. Look at that. That's real nice. But yeah, tell me what you think and, and what you. Oh, oh, I think I revealed the secrets. Oh no. But I don't want to give too much away. Let me just go to the back and see what extras are included. Here we go. So you get. The covers here, very nice, right there, Heroes of the Home, <laughs> this is really nice, Jose Maria Casanova, that's really, really good, I like that, very nice, this one's really cool too, Mahmoud Azrar. I like this when they have like the sketches, like the sketch and then the, the finished one like that as covers. That's really cool. Mary Jane, of course, over there. Scotty Young, of course. Of course it's Scotty Young. Patrick Gleason, this is a really good covers as well. Oh, that's a good Venom by Mark Brooks. Mark Brooks has some really good covers as well. I like Mark Brooks. Mark Brooks, Michael Turner has really great ones. Ooh, Vampire Hunter. That's cool. Oh, of course, Alex Ross, Timeless Sketch. Nice. And, yeah. Oh, I like this kind of very artistic, almost like a, uh, what do you call it, hieroglyphic looking. Yeah. Native American Heritage Variant by Jeffrey Varege. That's really cool. I like that a lot. You know, sometimes the, the, the authentic, realistic ones are cool, but sometimes, like, just... Stylized ones. This is the Patrick Gleason one. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is such a cool cover. That's like I said, that's my favorite cover of these three. You really get a lot, you get to see all of these covers, and they all are amazing for different aspects. Oh, mech strike variant. That's cool. Uh, they each bring different things to the table, and it's cool seeing all of those together. Nice. Very cool. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, this one's nice. Peach Momoko. Oh, of course. It's that watercolor style. Same. Peach Momoko. All right. And then you get a... looks like... Almost like a... Uh, it's the handbook variant. So it's kind of like how they look like on the handbook. The marble handbook of artists. This is really cool. Here you go. This is the wraparound variant. 
uh, by Mark Bagley and John Dell and Brian Reber. Okay, cool. Steve Ditko and Jason Keith. This is really nice. And then, of course, you got the homage. Ooh, nice. This looks like it's nothing but covers, and I love it. I am here for it. This is the one that has all 12 of them. Ooh, that's a good, that's good. I like that. This one also has more, more than 12. It has a ton of them. This Jeffrey Varage ones are really cool. Very stylized. Again, another one. You know, if you're here to see the covers, you are getting a treat. Peach Momo got this one. Very cool. These are some really nice covers. I am super impressed. Oh, that's a kink right there. Oi! Spider-Man says, put on my costume. Let me see what you look like with it. Uh, if you ever saw Scary Movie 2, remember when he's like, put on this uh, football uniform. Let me see what you look like in it. And he got turned on. That's Listen, Spider-Man. Bro, you got to work some things out, bro. Or you know what? Maybe Mary James is okay with it. A lot of these uh, sketches there. There you go. And there you go, guys. That is Spider-Man by Nick Spencer, Volume 2. Let me know what you think. Let me know which of the covers you're going to get. Uh, check it out at Enterprise Books, guys. And I will see you in the next one.